but their perception was still off until they got the governor. Somebody say the governor. Yeah. That was the day of Pentecost. The Holy Spirit is the governor. He gives us the word. He leads us in truth. He intercedes. Um, he, he, he prays to God on our behalf. Because there were times when I was going through this whole situation that I didn't have the words to pray. I didn't have the words to pray. I didn't feel like praying. All I could muster up was God strengthen me according to your word. And how many of you guys know it doesn't matter how many words you know. All you need is one. Because God said let there be. And boom we see everything that we have right here. So for you theologians let me get to the text. Matthew 13, I apologize, Matthew 13, verse number 44. I had to lay the foundation about the kingdom because, see, here's what I have a passion. I have a heart to really, I hate to see, I go to churches a lot, and I, I really hate, I, I, I don't use hate a lot, but I hate to see people that are oppressed. I hate to see people get their shout on and they leave the same way they came. I hate to see people walking around and not realizing the hope of glory. I, I really hate to see the oppression that people are going through in the body of Christ. It burdens my heart so much so that I just cry about it at times. I hate to see that. And this message of religion is not cutting the mustard. It's, it, what's interesting is that after the day of Pentecost, the first church, they got the message about the kingdom. But through the course of time, we have lost it. And it's because our perception of the word of God is off. See, we can't view this Bible from a Western, uh, uh, a Western mindset. We have to view it. We have to understand it from the culture, the surrounding from which it was written. I can't view this from an from a, 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 a American mindset. Amen. That's why it's important to understand Jewish and Hebrew culture. Yes. Yeah, it means to study. <laughs> it means to study. Study to show thyself approved. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly divide in the word of truth. Because there's going to be many times where you're going to be tested. And if you're not standing on the word, if you can't rightly divide the word of truth, you are in trouble. Yeah. So watch this. We can't view this from a religious perspective. We can't view it from a, a, an American perspective. We have to view the word of God from a kingdom perspective. This is the law of God. This is his constitution. I stand on it every single day. This is the authority in my life. Some of you may think your perception that this is a burgundy book. Some of your perception may be this is a, a bunch of good stories to tell your kids at night. Some of you guys' perception may be that some of that is true and some of it isn't. But I'm crazy enough to believe that if God is sovereign enough, if he is in complete control, if he said this is what I am to live by, I firmly believe no matter how many men touched it, I firmly believe this book is without error. Because why? Man must not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Watch this. So, again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When I first studied this passage, I thought that the treasure was some type of gold. Chess, gold chess, you know, the pirate's chess and all that stuff. I thought, I thought that's what the understanding was. That was my perception at the time. But I, I began to study the passage more. And I began to get a better understanding of it. And then when I got this perception that I have now, I, I became so much more excited about what the treasure is. The treasure is like a gold mine. It's like a gold field, a coal field. You guys ever seen that back in the day during the gold rush on the internet, whatever? You know, the gold mines and all that stuff. That's what, the, that's what the treasure is. And so it doesn't make sense if it was a treasure chest. It doesn't make sense for the man to go hide it again, buy the field, and come back and get it. No, he could have just took the chest. But he had to get the land. Somebody say, take the land. So he had to get the land. And what the land is, the land is what, what, what's so amazing about God is that it says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. 
This is the field. People's perception about this is off. If you're not perceiving this as your everything, then your perception is off. You've missed the kingdom message. Because this is how we're going to transform the world. This is how we're going to get the kingdom culture. This is how we're going to get the glory of God to manifest by following this word, not following what we feel comfortable with. Yeah. I'm going to share something with you guys. I heard some news uh, about two weeks ago that I didn't like. And I was almost mad at God. But because I said, Lord, I give myself to you. You are Lord over my life. I couldn't argue with him. I mean, I could, but I wasn't crazy. I said, Lord, you know what? Although I'm not liking this right now, although I may not agree with you right now because my perception is, is based on my flesh and what I want, I'm going to line myself up with your will. And God, I'm going to need you to help me to understand this because I don't get it. And when we do that, we are making him Lord over our life. Because, see, and see, we have different roles in the kingdom. We are called as priests. We are called as kings and queens, if you're a woman. We are called as sons and daughters of the Most High God. We are co-heirs with Christ. That means we, are to, we have an inheritance that God has for us. But if we don't study the scriptures to find out what the inheritance is, then because you're going through hell on earth, don't be mad at God because you're not studying. All right, you guys missed it. All right, so... Remember I said I was back in Eden Valley? Remember I said I got in the Word and I studied the Word? And I got in the Word and I studied the Word and I confessed the Word over my life? That was me agreeing with what the King already said about me. And when you agree with what the King already says about you, and you stand in faith and believe that you've already received it, guess what? It comes to pass. Alright, you guys are listening. Alright, so watch this. Again, the Kingdom of Heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. Which a man found and hid, and for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. When you, back in the day when they were mining for gold, that was hard labor. They didn't have all this technology that we have now. They were bent over backwards. They were in coal mines. They suffered heat exhaustion. Some of them lost their lives. They were bending over backwards. They were hammering away. They were going through all this labor because they saw the treasure. Watch this. They were going through all of this labor, long nights, because they realized the treasure. They realized the treasure. Their perception became bigger. And so when I studied the scriptures, it's all here for everybody to study. It's here. This is the number one selling book in the world throughout all of history. But the world is still in chaos. But the devil is a liar because the kingdoms of this world have now become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ. You see, I remind the devil of that almost every single day because I want him to have a reality check. The reality is that he's eternally defeated. The reality is that Jesus has given us all power, all authority to tread upon the serpent and the scorpion. Amen. All right, because of the pity pet, that means some of you guys' perception is a little bit off. But I want you guys to fully understand this, to appropriate what God has already given us. To appropriate means to take full possession of. So I take full possession over every single promise that God has said. So if God says that the dead are going to be raised, then that's what Kingdom Connections is going to do. If God said he's going to use us to heal people, then that's exactly what's going to happen. If God said that we are going to change nations, then that's exactly what's going to happen. Amen. I believe it. I'm just waiting for it to manifest. And I'm already expecting it. This is the treasure that's hidden in the field. So I began to work the scriptures. I began to find out what God said about me. Because I wanted to know. My perception of who I was was off. It was off. I told you I was religious. I thought I had it going on. Even though I was shy. You guys ever seen a shy guy that thought he had it going on? That was me. I'm still shy. In a sense. But that was me. And God gave me a reality check. You ain't all that. But let me cleanse you up with my son's blood. Let me get some righteousness in you. Let me get some patience in you. Because, ooh, 
that patience thing. Let me get some long suffering in you. Let me get some meekness in you. Let me get some temperance, some self-control. And then once you begin to bear fruit, then I can say you got it going on because I see my son. That's what this kingdom message is about. It's about manifesting the culture of heaven on earth. And the way we manifest it is the way we live our life. It's what we speak. It's how we interact with our brethren. It's showing compassion and love. Not being judgmental. Not being hypocritical. Not saying, oh, we're just sinners saved by grace. And going out and sinning how we want to sin. I used to claim that. We fall down. And we get back up. And we keep falling and we get back up. But we're like dogs returning to our vomit if we keep claiming that. See, Amen. I like following what's in Scripture and I like following what people have already gone through. That, that's the stage I am in my life right now. Because I don't, I don't want to have to go through unnecessary stuff. This whole divorce thing was necessary so that it could benefit the kingdom of God. But everything else, I, I want to uh, pass the test as much as possible the first time. You, I already mentioned that before. How many of you guys like to pass the test the first time? For those of you that didn't raise your hand, just, just keep on learning and keep on learning. But I like to pass the test. And so when I began to study the word of God, began to dig into it, it was nice that I stayed up. I didn't sleep much, but I was in the word of God. There were times where situations came, challenges came, where I had to be tested to see if what was in me was truly in me. It wasn't catching God by surprise, but he was showing me, are you faithful over my word? Are you going to live it out even if you don't understand? Are you going to walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but fear not evil because I am with you. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. Are you going to be with me? Because he said, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you, but will you forsake me? And so I begin to study the scripture. And I love this word. I love this word. It became flesh to me. I live by this word. I live by this word. This is the law of God. As king, he cannot lie. So whatever he says has to come to pass. So how you perceive this, this book, do you perceive it as a book? Or do you perceive it as the living word of God? Do you perceive it as something that's just, oh, I'll I, I just get to it when I can. I'll just keep this in my dashboard. And then on Sundays, I ain't even going to take it to church. Or do you perceive it as something that you have to pick up every single day. And then when you're tested, because watch this. When you're tested, the pressures of life, when they grab a hold of you, whatever is in you comes out. So if the word is in you, if somebody cuts you off in traffic, and I got to work on this, then I can say, bless the Lord anyway. If somebody cusses you out and passes you over for a promotion, then you can say, you know what? Promotion comes from the Lord. Amen. When the pressures of life come, what do you hold to? Do you try to solve earthly problems with earthly solutions? Or do you try to solve earthly problems with the resources that are in heaven? Because as a kingdom citizen, I realize this. Whatever I'm going through in life, as long as I'm walking in right standing with him, as long as I'm in obedience with him, then the resources of heaven are made available to me. And the last time I checked, God is infinite. And his resources are infinite. So whatever I need, he's going to make available to me. If you guys don't believe me, look at, just look around you. This was the vision that God gave me. Look around you. I didn't have musicians. I didn't have anything. All I had was what God gave me, but that's all I needed. And I spoke the word every single day. I spoke the word. I agree with what he already said about me. And this is the manifestation. That's the word of God. That's how he operates. Amen. This is not magic. This is not a one-two step thing. It's like treasure hidden in the field. Here it is and I'm done. What your man hid. He found it and he hid it. And for joy over, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. I was willing to give up everything for the sake of the kingdom. Because that's how much it means to me. I see that there's no, there's no, there's no, and this, this may catch some of you off guard, but watch this. In the kingdom of God, 